Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my strategy of how I plan to recover my YouTube account, which I have left dormant for about a year or so. I started creating on this channel about three years ago, and when I started, it was just a mess. I was creating anything and everything as long as it was recordable and i could talk about it i would go and talk about it and make a video out of it i have learned a lot over the years and i feel like i am ready to now do youtube for real for real and contribute some impact to the world here is how i plan to revive my youtube channel in 2024 for me when i started doing youtube i was doing a lot of things i was doing dance videos i was doing fitness i was doing travel vlogs it was i was everywhere and that did not really help me go anywhere. Now that I know better and have learned a few things, the first step that I took was to understand my audience. Who am I creating these videos for? And what kind of value do I want to give them? I took a digital marketing course in 2020. And after that, I think that's when it clicked in my mind. I knew I wanted to do digital marketing. Then after some time, I still brought it down to social media marketing, specifically to social media. And I felt like that's where I felt more joy. I felt more alive. And I also felt like there was a bigger opportunity in social media because there's so many people on social media. It has more numbers and more users compared to email and other avenues plus other digital marketing channels are not very affordable to many people. Most businesses and most brands stick to social media. I felt there was a huge opportunity there. Now that I've found my thing, I know that I want to create content around social media marketing, around content creation, things that I've learned over the past four years as a content creator and as an influencer. And Specifically, I want to do that for small business owners and all content creators. If you have been listening properly, I have mentioned two things. I've mentioned who my target audience is, and I've also mentioned what I want to do, what problems I'm solving, helping content creators and small business owners understand how to utilize social media platforms to grow their brands and to grow their businesses. I think I've figured out step one. The next step that I did was understand what people want. So I use tools like Google, VidIQ and other keyword research tools that help me identify questions around social media marketing, around content creation that people are asking. Once I know the topics that people want to learn about, then I can create content about them so that when I put out a video, I know that there is people already searching for it. I know that there is a certain search volume and I know that I am going to get seen, my video is going to get seen. Of course, there are all these other things uh, like tags, like thumbnails, like what, all those things matter. But I think it's also important to make sure that the video you're putting up there is something that people actually want to know about, want to hear about and want to learn about. Doing keyword research and understanding what my audience wants to know is the other thing that I figured out. And uh, I feel like now I'm ready to go. Step three. Now I have my target audience in check. I have my problem statements in check. I know who I want to help. I know what challenges I have to solve. And I also know what questions that people are asking. I know what content I need to put out. Of course, the next step would be to create the content, edit, and put it out there. That would be the next step in my strategy. Step four is publishing the video. And once the video has been published, what I intend to do is obviously share the links on my social media platforms and i've seen a lot of people do this youtube video is out i want to get the video and then crop it to about 30 20 seconds that are very interesting and intriguing and then share that as a reel on instagram and share it as a tiktok video as soon as the youtube video is out such that it can drive traffic to youtube and in the caption maybe somewhere i'll say something like the full video is now available on youtube so that people can go check that out i think for any platform it is important to get fast engagement in the first 30 minutes to one hour it is important that people see your video like it they view up to about half of the video that also contributes to how youtube pushes your video so if your video is getting 
high engagement in the first few minutes or first hour, then it is likely to be pushed out to more people. Of course, I have not created content and uploaded videos in a long time, so I do not expect that this is going to work out magically immediately. But I know that in the long run, as long as I'm intentional with this, then it's going to definitely going to work out. This is such an easy strategy. It has only five steps. Step five is to review my analytics because it is important to know when viewers are dropping off. It is also important to know how long they are watching. It is important to know where they are coming from. Understanding all these different insights will help me make better decisions. If I see one video performing better than another video, maybe I'll think of replicating something that worked well. Maybe I'll think of doing a part two of a video that did well. All these are things that I have recently learned and I hope that this is going to be the year this channel does really, really well. That's exactly how my plan looks like. And those are the few steps that I hope to take as I create my content and share it with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.